guys, Thunderstud here, and today we are kind of just dipping our toes into Cybers. I say that because there's tons of Cyber support. There's really good Cyber support we get from leveling Playmaker. I don't have it all. There's a lot of it I do have that we're not using. This is mostly from the Structure deck, so I'm trying to really focus on the big cards from the Structure deck. And generally it has to go with Code Monsters. We got a few tricky code monsters. I think uh, they came from, or he's not even a code monster, Leak Disciple. I think he came from the structure deck as well. But other things, we have code talkers. So the URs are Link Slayer, pretty good. It's a 2k body level five that you can just bring out as long as you don't control any monsters. Once your turn, discard up to two cards, target that many spell and traps and destroy them, pretty good. Especially when we have things that want to be discarded, like Dot Scraper, a very good card. When it's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon it, or when it's banished, you can special summon it. So you link summon it, you throw it away with Sidenet Mining, you throw it away with Karma Cut, you throw it away with Link Slayer, he's coming back out. You can get three of these from Playmaker. Like I said, we're just dipping our toes. We want to focus on the structure deck a little. This isn't what I think would be the best cyber deck. There's other really good cards we can get out there, but uh, we're focusing on the structure deck. So we got Micro Coder. The cyber monster you control will be used as a link material for a code talker monster. It can be used in the hand. So a uh, very cool little monster. This card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard as link material. You get to add a Sinus spell from your deck to your hand, or if this card was on the field used as material, you can add a level 4 Cyburst monster instead. Good little monster. Really lets us get away with one Sinet Mining. You usually want more Sinet Minings, but we have three Micro Coders. Let's us search Sinet Mining. We throw away something like Dot Scraper. We get a search and a special sound. I guess not a scraper, dot, dot scaper, like landscaping, I guess. So dot scaper, sorry. And then we have Lady Debug. She's from the box, not quite from the structure deck. And just good um, text. Now, this is from the structure deck. We've had it in Duel Links for a very long time. I've tried to use them for a very long time. It's finally Time to shine for Degrade Buster, guys. It's so strong. It's definitely going to be in whatever I think will be the strongest Cyber kind of deck. Because he's just so strong. He's better than most Link monsters this deck can possibly put out. And you just get the fuel to use them so much easier. Everything. Discards. They're all Cybers. Very crazy strong monster, guys. Quick effect banish of anything with attack higher than you. Super easy to get out. 2500, 2500, such a crazy monster. So uh, we'll let the dex plays speak for themselves more than going over the, car the cards for too long. So hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a human astral. We're going second, gonna catch a rank up. Let's see what our bonus got for us. We have eight in the extra deck. The Grade Buster, Micro Coder. Compulsory Evacuation. We are facing Ancient Gear. I love Ancient Gear. He's going hound into a fusion of Howitzer. We get a Link Slayer. That's a good start. We're going to use him and Micro Coder to come out with the Code Talker. That's going to trigger Micro Coder's effect. Give us a search of Cynet Mining. Now we're going to use Cynet Mining to throw away Karma Cut. Search a Lady Debug. Normal Summoner, search another Coder, Link Summon once again, this time into the Decode Talker, we even get a fancy cutscene, and this cutscene has music, I think it's like one of the first cutscenes to really have its own theme song to go with it, they have like sound effects, but this has its own theme song, so there we go, we got our Decoder, we're using the skill, I forgot to even bring it up, it's Code extended, you select a level 3 code talker link, you turn them into decode talker extended, very strong. Uh, you could select one 
opponent monster, or if you selected a decode talker in your monster zone, you get to select one monster your opponent controls and move it in front of you, thus making you even stronger. So we moved his howitzer from there to there, and we're able to bring out the Great Buster, still making him stronger. And when this new decode talker extended destroys a monster, you get to attack once again. So here he comes with an ancient dragon. We have the amazing the Great Buster, able to banish him immediately after he's summoned. And we get to swing once again for lethal. Great, great stuff. Alright, here it is. Playmaker versus Playmaker. We're going first. He is another Cybers deck. And we're going first. And we still pull off the win. All thanks to our boy, the Great Buster. I have a feeling people are going to sleep on this monster because he doesn't really help you get to your Link Summoning and he doesn't really enrich your Link Summoning. He's his own thing, but he's so good. It's going to make all the differences in this deck. So he's going to see. I'm pretty sure he would add a Degrade Buster to his deck after seeing this if he didn't have one already. So anyway, we use Micro Coder, search with Debug, we have Dot Scaper thrown away with Psynet. He gets a special summon off the discard, so it's really just such a good combo. We go into the Decode Talker. We get our own cutscene. Honestly, when I learned of these uh, Code and Decode, whatever cards were so popular in Master Duel, I had no idea they were like anime ace monster status. So then we get to bring out our Degrade Buster, and we get to set a Cross Wipe. So we're pretty safe. He's got a Mystical Space Typhoon. A cross white, we let that go. Now he's got a lady debug. Searches more cybers. I'm telling you, there's a lot of cybers support. So this isn't quite optimal yet. This is us just really making use of the structure deck. He's got a micro coder. He's got this backup secretary. You get leveling up playmaker going. He's got a power code talker. Getting his own micro code search of Cynet. Net mining, I guess I should say. He negates my decoder's effect. That's perfectly fine with me. He's going to tribute Cynet Crosswerve to destroy my Degrade Buster. So I negate, but I'm negated, but I tributed my monster. He didn't destroy my monster. And then he gets a search. Search is one simple boy, but uh, has to scoop right after. So we are the superior cyber deck. Great, great stuff, man. Alright, here we are going for a rank up versus a Yami Yugi. We got Link Slayer, we got Debug, we got Dot Scraper. Now I make a bit of a mistake putting the Link Slayer there instead of in the middle. Gotta remember, the higher decoders need the diagonal pointers. Really only our level 2s go with the uh, straight up and down like you see here. So we shouldn't have worried about this setup, we should have worried about the future setup because as you can see, we went Link Slayer, we went Debug, Searching Microcoder, once we use Microcoder from the hand that gives us Cynet Mining, we use Cynet Mining to throw away the Great Dotscaper, that's going to let us search another Microcoder, to probably sort of search Debug, but it triggers Dotscaper when we use him for that search, so we're able to use him and our Code Talker to make in Code Talker. Now the problem is, He's not, or he is pointing to Link Slayer actually, but we turn it into a, a different talker that is not pointing to Link Slayer, so we don't get the second swing after destroying a monster. We would have hit immediately, though, if we did. Here he sets a new backer. We're going to use Compulsory Evacuation on Revealer of the Ice Barrier, because she would get his special summons going. We use Link Slayer to destroy a Drowning Mirror Force, and that gets our boy to scoop. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Kaitenjo. We're going second. He's on a little two streak. I don't think he puts up a particularly hard field to break, though. So he's showing XZ's Galaxy, Mills Galaxy Eyes. As a Cloud Dragon to bring out that Galaxy Eyes. It looks like Cloud Dragon's like crashing into a planet, not really emerging from something. It looks like he's crashing into something. Anyway, here's our Galaxy Eyes. It's 
that's a back row. I don't think we ever learn what that back row is. We're going to start with debug. We have a dot scaper, and now we have our micro coder, so we have pretty much anything we could want. We go with the code talker. That's already enough in our graveyard for a degrade buster, but micro coder gives us signet mining. We're able to use signet mining to throw away dot scaper. That lets us search another micro coder because we don't have another debug. And it also triggers the scaper. That's going to give us Groot Enforcer. We're going to go from a two link to a two link. Groot Enforcer is Galaxy Eyes. He's going to negate it by discarding the monster, but that's okay. Because we're able to bring out the Degrade Buster. He now banishes the boy. And we're still able to hit him for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yuya. We're going second. No single map for a boy over there. Two to Grain Busters. Debug, who lets us search. Facing two back row. We get a Link Slayer. Very good. Debug's gonna give us a search, like I said. We go with Dotscaper. Link Slayer throws away Dotscaper. That draws out an Econ. That's gonna take my Link Slayer. Still gonna destroy the back row. And Dotscaper will trigger off Link Slayer's effect to hop on out. That's gonna give us a Brood Enforcer. We're gonna try to destroy this Link Slayer. He lets us do it. That gives us plenty of fuel for our Degrade Buster. And that's going to be a nice and quick, easy lethal. So Dotscaper's gonna be definitely core. Works with so many discard effects. The Great Buster's just too strong, guys. He's virtually stronger than any Link monster we have right now. So he, he's great. He's so easy to get out. He's two Links. He's like a Link after a Link. He, he's too good, so he has to be in there. Um, but there's other ways to mix this around. And you can use more sign up mining, obviously, for even more consistency. Maybe you don't need three coders. Link player's tempting. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be rough with all this massive amount of support, but let me know how you guys are running it, and thanks for watching.